So hopefully when you balance the equation Na plus Cl2 yields NaCl, you end up with something like this here. And you could put a 1 here. We don't usually write it, though. So that's the balanced equation for Na plus Cl2 yields NaCl. But I want to show you how I got there, kind of my thinking about how I balance equations. So the first thing I do is I write down the atoms for each side, like this. And now I can count the atoms up in the reactants and in the products. One sodium, two chlorine atoms, and in the products, one sodium and one chlorine. So now I have this accounting, and it's very clear. I want these here to be the exact same. So what I need to do is get two chlorines. And I can only change the coefficients. Those are the numbers in front. So to get two chlorines over here, I'll put a 2 in front of the NaCl. 1 times 2, that'll give me 2. So those are balanced. But the 2, it goes to everything here. So 1 times 2, that'll give me 2. 1 sodium put a 2 here, 1 times 2, that equals 2, and we're done. This equation is balanced. We have 2 for the sodiums, 2 here on both sides. The chlorines, they're the same. That's it. So when I'm balancing equations, I can do them quickly, and you will be able to as well, but this is kind of the thought process that we go through. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.